Hello and welcome to Maths by Sauce. This is my 10th lesson of D2 chapter number 16, exercise 16B that is about the construction of histogram with equal and unequal class width. Students in this class will be discussing question number 12, intermediate level. Before going to today's class, it's really important to recall some basic concepts because lessons of mathematics require continuous practice and integration of the lesson with the new lesson. And if the previous lesson is not good and that is weak, so the new lesson will also be affected. So for all those students uh, who are uh, missing the classes or they are catching us late, or there are some people uh, who uh, are joining our channel uh, first time, for all those people, I'll be giving the link of the previous lesson in the description box because you all have to understand the meaning of the class limits, class intervals, class width, and class mark and class uh, boundaries these are the points that have to be really clear to all of my students for the construction and better understanding of the histogram in question number 12 question 12 says that the daily wages of 50 workers in dollars are given below construct the frequency table with the intervals 10 to 14 15 to 19 uh, 20 224 and so on and draw the histogram to represent this information okay uh, recall my previous lessons the in which we discussed that how to construct the frequency table in uh, for the construction of frequency table we have to divide the data and the information into different classes and how many classes are needed we have to decide the number of classes according to the data given uh, so that the classes can capture uh, the smallest value the minimum value and the maximum value of the data if we uh, look at the minimum value in the data we can see that uh, okay 10 10 is the uh, minimum value okay 10 is a minimum value and if we look at the maximum value 42 is coming here 42 42 and then what other number uh, bigger than uh, 42 is coming uh, this is 44 44 is coming here uh, okay and then what number other than 43 is coming here and then 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 I can uh, see 45 okay 45 is coming here so we have to uh, move to the classes and the number of classes which can capture 45 as well so first of all i have uh, written the uh, daily wages in form of the class intervals the 10 to 14 15 to 19 20 to 24 25 to 29 30 to 34 35 to 39 40 to 44 and 45 to 49 and then uh, we know that how to mark the tallies that we have to move in the data carefully and we have to see that for this class uh, how many numbers are coming keeping in mind that the numbers uh, which will be coming over here they will be till 14 so some of the work I already have done for you that uh, this time I have completed the tally table for you and construction of and conversion of tallies into numbers is the frequency so let's quickly write down the frequencies here this is uh, 3 5 and 2 is 7 5 and 3 is 8 uh, 5 5 10 and 3 13 5 and 3 is 8 this is 6 and this is 3 and this is 2 okay now look the question says that there are uh, 50 workers in the question so let me add up the frequencies if uh, the frequencies are adding up to 50 it means my tallies are correct 7 and 3 10 10 and 8 18 18 and 2 20 and 26 26 and 10 36 and 3 39 140 45 45 and 3 48 and 250 but let me uh, confirm it uh, with calculator as well uh, so that there has to be no doubt at all uh, 10 uh, plus 8 plus 13 plus 14 plus 5 and this is 50 okay so 50 is matching with that Okay, now the second problem that is left for the construction of histogram is that we have to decide whether the class limits are given or the boundaries are given. 
if we uh, look at these numbers uh, diagonally in this way we can see the data is not continuous so in order to turn the limits to boundaries class limits to boundaries what are we going to do we have to find this diagonal difference that is 1 make it half divide by 2 and that becomes 0 0.5 and what are we going to do with that 0 0.5 we have to subtract that 0 0.5 with the starting number so when 0 0.5 is taken away from 10 that becomes 9.5 and it has to be added to the upper class limit of the same class so 14 will become 14.5 and again when 0 0.5 will be subtracted from uh, 15 it will become 14.5 and now after this I will not be struggling because I can find that these numbers have to automatically come over here 29.5 and then 29.5 to 34.5 and then 34.5 to 39.5 and then 39.5 to 44.5 and 44.5 to 49.5 and uh, I'm making these slight changes in the questions because uh, in your O-level examination uh, examiner can make such changes now uh, I have turned the class limits to boundaries the second important point is that we have to check the class width of all the classes so 10 to 14 uh, the difference is 4 here the difference is 4 difference is 4 25 to 29 difference is 4 here the difference is 4 35 to 39 the difference is 4 40 to 44 the difference is uh, 4 and uh, 45 to 49 uh, so the difference is 4 so all the classes has the same class width so what we are going to do we have to plot the frequencies as it is no struggle for the frequency density and um, height of rectangle students you must have to watch this clearly that in every question I'm focusing on checking of class width okay so please you will be keeping this point in your mind while you'll be attempting your question now uh, let's see that for x axis one centimeter gap equals to one unit will be okay and i have marked the class uh, boundaries 9.5 14.5 19.5 24.5 29.5 34.5 39.5 uh, 44.5 and 49.5 and now for the frequencies you have to see which one is the largest frequency here largest frequency is 13 so you have to adjust your uh, frequency column in such a way that it can capture 13 so one centimeter equals to one unit now, it's a symmetrical uh, graph so uh, i can take uh, this scale for y-axis as well so let's move for the plot plotting of the uh, graph and the frequencies for the first class that is 9.5 to 14.5 the frequency is 3 okay and then let me complete uh, my rectangle from 9.5 to 14.5 okay I do not have to join it with y-axis I have to begin from 9.5 and end at 14.5 and the next one is 7 so I have to reach in front of 7 to reach in front of 7 and then I have to cross uh, this rectangle okay do your work uh, carefully please okay this is one of the pain articles then the next is eight eight so okay next is eight so let me complete uh, my rectangle here okay uh, this is for eight and eight is done then the next uh, 25 to 29.5 24.5 to 29.5 the frequency is 13 so reach in front of 13 okay and then then complete your rectangle first do your work in pencil and if you feel that only for the drawing of graph please not to use and overwrite okay because when uh, you write in pencil and you do not remove it properly that uh, work will uh, when will be scanned will not be uh, coming in the scanner properly 13 is done then 8 then 8 8 okay for uh, 34.5 this is 8 okay i have to stop here uh, then 
okay you have to listen to my instructions carefully i'm giving uh, these all lessons are specially i'm making and designing for my o level students those who have to appear in their o level examination uh, on 29th of july 35 34.5 to 39.5 this is 6 so i have to uh, move in front of 6 these lessons i'm making on the special request of some of my students okay uh then 6 then 3 uh 39.5 to 44.5 this is 3 1 2 and 3 1 2 and 3 so this uh, will be coming at the same level uh these two are coming at the same level okay 3 and the last is 2 and the last one is having the frequency 2 so let me complete my histogram oh, such a nice work okay Uh, feel uh, happiness while doing ge geometry work okay and then what we have to do is quickly reconfirm that 9.5 to 14.5 the frequency is 3 14.5 to 19.5 the frequency is 7 then 19.5 to 24.5 this is 8 and this is uh, 13 this is 13 then 29.5 Uh, 29.5 to 34.5 34.5 this is 8 and this is 34.5 to 39.5 this is 6 and this is 39.5 to 44.5 this is 3 and this is 2 okay so uh, my uh, frequencies are plotted correctly and now i can confirm my work by uh, using black pen okay uh, so let's quickly go for the completion of the work okay i hope you are clear that how to construct the histogram with equal and unequal class width and what are the key points for the construction of the histogram you must have to check all class widths of the whole data even if the class width of the single class is not equal mostly what examiner uh, is doing in the papers he is leaving either the middle class class width unequal or the last or the second last class and uh, unequal and the student in hurry and in the pressure of exam is not checking all the widths of all the classes and he uh, often plots the frequencies as it is and in that way the whole effort will be wasted so please when you will be getting the question for the histogram you have to check the class width of all the classes properly i hope this instruction is clear to everyone and now we have marked the axis uh, and we have constructed the histogram and now what is left uh, we are left with the title the daily wages of 50 workers in dollars histogram representing histogram gram representing daily wages of 50 workers you can see that i'm giving you the tips uh, during these lessons as well that how can you secure uh, good marks under this article please watch my lessons like share and subscribe the channel and press bell icon to get the notification of every lesson in time thank you very much